These are two trucks of rice purchased by the man of God, Apostle John Chi, and the Ark of God TV partners for the relief of the less privileged, the orphans and the needy in our society. This is the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry Cathedral, as the team is waiting patiently and joyfully for the arrival of the two trucks of rice and eager to offload them. The long-awaited trucks carrying rice have just arrived the premises of the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. As we can see, the trucks are driving safely to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry warehouse. Remember that we are called to meet the needs of the needy as the Bible commands us in the book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 10. They only asked us to remember the poor, the very thing I also was eager to do. We can see the man of God, Apostle John Che, waiting to inspect the rice before taking it to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry warehouse. The first truck is opened. And we can see the top quality rice filled to the brim. Here is the second being opened and we can see the same quality of rice filled in it. We see Apostle John Che leading by example. As a leader, we are told to lead in righteousness and in the fear of God. The man of God shows a tangible example as he steps forward to lift a 50 kilogram bag of rice heading straight to the Ark of God Covenant Ministry warehouse as the team follows to make their way to the store with the rice. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17, One who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. There is blessing in giving if we give in humility and cheerfulness. Matthew chapter 5 verse 42 says, Give to him who asks of you, and do not turn away from him who wants to borrow from you. The rice is arranged and carefully packed in the warehouse of the Ark of God Covenant Ministry to be rebagged before reaching out to the less privileged. Works of charity and righteousness by faith in Christ Jesus goes together as it is instructed in the Bible. Luke chapter 11 verse 41 But give that which is within as charity and then all things are clean for you. We should always do good to change the bad we see. Greetings to all our partners and viewers all over the world. We are here at the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry Warehouse. We have just uploaded the two trailers of rice, now waiting to be rebacked to meet the need of the less privileged and the needy. Jesus Christ values our little efforts to honor him when it is done in humility and in truth. It is a rare privilege to be in a position to give to those in need of what you have. Remember what the Bible says about works of charity. Works of charity and righteousness by faith in Christ Jesus go together. The Bible says we should care for the poor and the needy among us. The book of Matthew 24 verse 34 to 36 make us to understand that our position in Christ Jesus is enhanced each time we care for those in need. The way we care for the needy is a reflection 
of our love for Christ Jesus and our position as his children. It is evidence of our salvation and the presence of the Holy Spirit within us. What is in your hand is capable of solving someone's problem. Find those who need what you have and put quality smiles on their faces. If we claim to be Christians, all our concerns, aspirations, and heart desires must be subject to the gospel. I mean, in all aspects of our lives, we must be ready to live by the example our Lord Jesus Christ laid down for us. We must be ready to do good because Jesus Christ was never tired of doing good. This is the only way we can commit more faith and love to the society of which we are a part. I am a part, you are a part. Thank you for joining us <coughs> to care for the less privileged and the needy. Thank you for partnering with us. May God bless you as you join us for this outreach. In Jesus' name, amen. to love his fellow man. Be blessed as you bless the poor. Be blessed as you bless the orphans. Be blessed as you bless the widows. Be blessed as you bless the physically challenged. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. This program is sponsored by Partners of Akko Project.
of heaven we know ourselves. So this is the arrival of the truck sent by the Ark of God, the Covenant Ministry, and the Ark of God TV partner on behalf of the man of God, the General of Asia, Apostle John Chi. As you can see, the truck carrying charitable gifts from the Ark of God Covenant Ministry just arrived, Kumba Municipal Prison, with a lot of things, gifts, and the presence uh, to reach out to those who are in need of what we possess. So right here, join us as we join the inmates to upload what the man of God, Apostle John Chi and the Ark of God TV partners are sending to bless these people here. Thank you. God bless you. My name is Ngale McLean. I am from Mutengene. Siko, some may know me. By the special grace of God in the life of my father, my coach, my mentor, Senior Apostle John Chi of the Ark of God Covenant Ministry, Boya, Cameroon, I am here today with a message from him. Nothing is above God. With God, everything is possible. My brothers and sisters, how can you handle situation when you are tempted? Or how can you handle temptation? Temptation is a presentation of evil. Amen? Amen. An opportunity to, for you to choose whether to have temporal enjoyment or everlasting gain. Amen? Amen. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said to him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. I believe we are here because one thing happened or the other. But the man of God, Apostle John Jesus, said, We should inform you that mistakes are correctable. No matter the crime you have committed, hallelujah, Amen. Jesus Christ will still give you another chance. Amen. As a team sent by the man of God, Apostle John Chi, and the Ark of God TV partners, so he has given us about 350 bags of rice to give you. He has sent us with a bucket of disinfectant, which will use it to dilute with water and disinfect your toilets, disinfect your beds, disinfect your urinaries, as well as your body. He has given us medicated soups, which we'll use them. You know, many of us, we have rashes. We'll use them to treat the rashes. He has also given us toothpaste and toothbrush for many of us here who will be using it to see into it that it will reinforce your teeth and the calcium nature of your teeth. Also, he has given slippers for many of you here to use them. He has sent bed spreads, underwears, and pillowcases. He has sent a lot of clothes, shirts, and jean trousers for many of you here to be putting on. The man of God said, he cannot just leave you there. Hallelujah. Amen. He has also sent a TV set to be installed here for you to continue to watch the Ark of God TV, which will deliver many of you here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the man of God did not end there, sir. Uh, the man of God, Apostle John Chi, has also sent us with a sum of 300,000 francs to give you to take care of them. A big team like this, 
and I did not know it was uh, something of a great magnitude. So it's a big surprise to me, it's a big surprise to us. So we we'll have no other thing other than to say thank you. Thank you to Apostle John Chi and his team. We pray that God will richly bless him in return for thinking of uh, those who are in difficulty, thinking for those who are in need. And uh, in the name of all the inmates and personnel of this place, we want to say thank you, Apostle John Chi. So we pray that God continue to bless his ministry to extend this uh, big heart he has to reach to so many others. And we pray equally that your prayers to be able to reach them, to be able to change them, transform them, so that uh, they can also become men of God like uh, I evangelist with your preacher a while ago. Really, it's really a blessing. I'm so, so happy because I've never seen such a gift here in prison since my ten, my 10 months in prison. It's really a great privilege to have the man of God here with us. Seriously, I love him. In short, I'm a fan of him. He's a great man of God and inspiration from sent from above to help us. So I only appreciate his effort and for making himself available for the use of God because it's, it's not an easy task, but He's doing it, and I thank God for him, and I pray that may God continue to bless him, may God continue to anoint him, may God continue to use him to reach other people, no matter where they may find themselves, and I know he's going to do it.